The Spirit of the Lord says, this is the time that I have chosen in the earth not to allow the enemy to think for a moment that he and those who have cooperated with them shall get by with their demonic agenda, their acts of evil, their corruption. This is not the time. Therefore, this is the hour that I have chosen to bring forth my hand in a great intensity that shall shake the earth cause the mountains to blow their tops, to cause even the weather to seem backwards and out of normal because I am the God of the times, the seasons. I am the Lord of the earth. Therefore, I say to those who are in fear, pay attention. Why is it that you look to the things that are happening and think that this is the way that it shall be or shall be the future? For did David stand before Goliath? Did he consider how big the giant was that paralyzed a nation with fear? No! He knew the power of his God and the power of covenant. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And he took him out with my power and cut off his head. And so this is what shall begin to take place. Concerning the things that look impossible... Those who have said it will never change and it's as big in their mind as Goliath that stood that day. But yet there is a supernatural intervention of my hand that is about to take place. And a striking forth that shall cut off the head of those that thought that they could get by with what they have done. And God says the day that they came to the walls of Jericho. I had them be silent. Because God says the walls were speaking loud and I did not want them to come into agreement like some who have come into agreement with the agenda of hell that is blatant upon the media and upon the screens. And God said there was a shout that brought the walls down. Who, who could raise the walls back up again? Were the walls raised back up again, says the Lord? No! The walls were taken down by the power of my hand. And so it is, this will take place with the things that look intimidating, look unpenetratable, impossible, like no breakthrough would happen like the walls of Jericho. Yet I brought the walls down and I will do this again. And I speak concerning viruses, vaccinations, mandates, agendas, I will bring these walls down. And God says, were the walls ever rebuilt? No. Because the hour and the time that you've come into shall be the season that you will say in America, great things are coming. Great things shall unfold. And you will say, this will never happen again in America. This way, says the living God. The walls of Jericho are your evidence. Goliath is your evidence i will act and it shall never be again for what i will do in this coming season says the spirit of the living god oh hallelujah come on let's shout let's Ooh. shout we thank you lord. lord thank you lord thank you lord, thank you, lord. we worship you jesus thank you lord, thank you, lord. We thank you. amen hallelujah is our guest still there <laughs> They must have hung up. Okay. Hey, we're here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, praise God. Well, well thank you guys for joining thanks us for being tonight. Here. I just, how many of you love Dr. Jean and Terry Bailey? Yeah, amen. Thank you for being here. Well, I like what the Lord said. It, as if it'll, what did he say? As if it never happened. Yes, yes. Praise God. God's going to wipe it out and it'll never happen again. So.